So I'm going to come in and check out this ER. I heard that they're hiring, but it's kind of a low-budget hospital, so we'll see how that goes. But I just graduated, and I really want to work in the ER. I think it'd be so cool. Okay, so um, did you, anybody get the uh, blood pressure on that last patient? Yeah, it was uh, 160 over 91. Okay, awesome. And what's the status of 53's foot? It's approximately the size of Bigfoot's. Wow, yeah. that's bad. Yeah, but well, in seriousness, like, he has a really bad gout. Okay, right. Are you going to follow up <coughs> with Hi, him everybody. Hi. Hi there. Well, hi. hi. How are you guys doing? Yeah. Um, my name is Lindsay, and I'm, I'm thinking about applying here for a job. I'd, I'd like to work in your ER. Yeah, all right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, how much experience do you have? Um, actually, I just graduated. Oh, yeah? Uh-huh. Uh, From which program? Oh, at the out at the community college, the Walla Walla Community okay. College. Okay, that's, yeah. that's a good yeah. program. Yeah, that is a great program. <laughs> what kind of experience do you have? Well, I I haven't worked yet, actually, but I was uh, thinking that you know this is really what I want. This is my dream job. I just want to save lives mm -hmm. like, right away. Okay, emergency well, like. Well, normally. You know? um, Many people that work in the ER have a bachelor's degree, oh. or they have um, experience working in critical care. Like how, how long do I have to work in a critical care unit? Depending on the facility, it's usually a year, but some facilities may train you on the site. Oh. So it really depends. Okay. Are you guys hiring? <laughs> uh, actually, do you know if we're hiring? Uh, not people with that experience. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I'll keep that in mind. Yeah. So can I just kind of hang out for a little bit and can watch you guys? Please help me. My daughter's cut her finger and it's bleeding and I'm hurt. Oh. Okay. Please help oh. her. Oh, here. Let's have a seat right here. Oh my gosh. Hey. All right. <clears throat> well, let's take a look at what happened. She was washing some dishes and she stuck her hand in the glass and the glass broke and I could see the bone in there before I put that paper towel on. Okay. All right. Um. You're not on any sort of blood thinners, are you? She's not on anything. Please just yeah. help her. Oh, yeah. This looks pretty bad. Um, Crystal, can you get some bandages for this? Uh, yes. This it's going to need more than bandage. I can, yeah. there, I can well, see the finger we'll do in that, there. We'll do that temporarily until we can get some sutures in it. Hi, is there Have someone here that can help me? I'm, I'm having, like, chest pain. Chest pain? Something. Are you feeling kind of... Yeah, a little bit. Here, we're going to have I you take a seat. Like a lot of pressure on my chest. Oh. Oh. There All right, you guys have a seat here. Let me help you down. Man, luckily that new girl, uh, the one that wants to get hired, she knows how to work a realtor. Yeah, she really came in for you. Yeah. We'll have, to, we'll have to keep an eye out on her. That was really embarrassing. See, see if she steps it up a little bit more. Yeah, we'll keep her eye on her. We'll see. All right, we're going to go ahead and get you in a chair here. Are you doing okay? okay? Yeah, I just feel like really short of breath and I just don't, I just feel weird. I just don't feel like myself. I just have a lot of pressure in my chest and it's just really Do you have any heart problems No, or I've never had any sort of heart problems ever in the past. Do you have, does your family have any heart problems? Uh, yeah, my grandma has heart problems. But. Oh, really? <sighs> okay, let me help you to the chair. Okay, there's, uh, all right. So on a scale of uh, one to ten, uh, it's how about an eight. It's yeah. About an eight. Yeah. Okay. How long has this been going on? Uh, it just about a, in the past forty-five minutes. I just I was working in the garden and I just I just got really short of breath and uh, that makes working pain. working in the garden made it worse. Yeah. Okay. All right. So what would you Is it radiating uh, anywhere? Uh, my back a little bit, but just mainly my chest. Okay. All right. Well, I'm just gonna go ahead and um, get a blood pressure on you, and we'll get get you get you started here. You doing okay? Yeah. You guys, um, I could use some help over here. Please help her. It's okay. bleeding. Do you see the blood? Oh my yeah, word! Her blood so pressure is really high. So here's the thing. This is a temporary so you dressing, get the and the doctors hey, can come over Micah, and check it out. Yeah. I really need you to call for an EKG. Okay. Okay, okay, I gotta go get an AKG, but um, I'll hey, talk to you guys in a little bit. Birthday, Okay, and here's the aspirin. Go ahead and take this. Um, here's some water. Excuse me, sir. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sir, 
Sir, hey, hang, no, hang listen. Hey. Listen. Listen to me, please. No, the, listen. I, I, hang, you, what? You, I, my daughter is bleeding. Yeah, she's bleeding, and that woman I has a heart problem. I know that, but she's hurting. Hang on, hang <laughs> So apparently, in a recent survey, 72% of ER nurses are physically hit. It's not something I knew before I got this job. Do you have any allergies? Yeah, I'm allergic to peanuts. Okay, and what yeah. happens? Uh, I, I get rashy and I uh, get really short of breath. When did this start? Uh, a couple years ago. A couple years yeah. ago. Do you have any other allergies? Yeah, I'm allergic to latex. Okay. And what happens? Uh, I just swell up and get really itchy. Okay. Yeah. All right. Did... Okay, I got the 12 right, right here. So I'm going to switch to synthetic gloves. Okay. Okay. Did you get the IV started? I'm going to go ahead and start the IV. <sighs> okay. And I'll try and prepare the nitro. Is that okay? No, no swelling or. Yes. That doesn't hurt, right? No, that's fine. Okay. What is this? That's the 12 lead. It's going to oh, okay. monitor your heart. Okay. So yeah. We'll just leave that on there for a little bit. You still have a chest pain? Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this off. I'm just going to put a band-aid on it. A band-aid? Yeah. Uh, I talked to the doctor. He took a look at it. And it's not bad enough to require stitching. But, but look at that. I mean, it's deep right there. Oh. Can I watch? Can I watch? Yeah. Cool. Oh, I feel really dizzy. Oh, oh I'm hey. just gonna raise your feet. You guys, up here. we should put our head down. Is that helping? Oh, oh we're gonna turn Dellenberg like that. That's right. Oh, see now, oh, how's, how's that's that? Better. You that's feeling so better? Much better. Yeah. Oh, there we oh, go. Thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, that's so much better. Yeah. Can you breathe? Are you okay? Yeah. yeah. Good. Is your pain decreasing? Yeah. yeah. What would you cool. say your pain is on a scale of one to ten? It's probably down to about a. Four. Four? That's way better. Mm -hmm. Thank on. you. You're welcome. That's awesome. And that new girl, she came through again with that T-Bird chair. Yeah, man. She can work a chair. Really good. It's awesome. I, know. I think we should hire her. Yeah, I think so, too. She can really work it. Work that chair. Okay, so you'll just want to make sure and keep your band-aid nice and clean and dry. If it gets saturated with uh, drainage or anything, just take it off, clean it, put on a new one, and uh, it should heal on its own. Can I talk to you for just a minute, please? Sure. First of all, I, I need to apologize. I was just very frustrated. That's my baby over there, and I was worried that she wasn't going to be taken care of. I'm really sorry about the slap. That just wasn't cool. Well, it's stressful for everyone. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry again. Please, please accept my apologies. And apparently 4% are sexually assaulted.